Joining us now is G-Squared Private Wealth CIO and CNBC contributor Victoria Green. Victoria, happy Friday. So it uh, sounds like you're happy kind Friday, of John. Uh, thanks, uh, defensive here. Uh, I, I want to key in on the impact on earnings season. Given that we just touched 52-week highs on major averages, should investors, you think, expect a sell-the-news bias unless the news is as good as JPM's was? Well, and that's what, look at JPM, all I can think about is Shania Twain's song, That Don't Impress Me Much. It was a great quarter, and it really didn't have a lot of lift on the stock. And then you had City or State Street, and, and what we saw across the street is analysts were describing the earnings as unimpressive, or it's okay, it was mediocre at best, and the stocks really got punished. So I really feel there's a lot of risk out here. If you don't beat expectations and raise your guidance, even though J.P. Morgan did both of those things, they were up 20 basis points today, and so you're just not seeing the lift from the beach that you think you'd see. And so I think that's where you saw some of the selling pressure come in. People are nervous, you know, that we, we don't just need good news to move this stock up. You need great news, like a United Health that came in and really, you know, assuaged fears of the, the, the cost rising and what was happening with the trends. And we're able to, to make investors feel comfortable that Q2 was a little bit of a corner turning for the, their medical expense trends. So what does that mean for Netflix and IBM this coming week, which you own? Yeah. So Netflix, I actually have hopes they can impress us a lot next week. I think they're going to beat on subscriber growth. We're looking at like 1.85 million is technically what the street's looking for. I think they're going to beat on this. Look, their password share crackdown seems to have been working extremely well. They've avoided negative headlines, which was the biggest risk. Uh, and then they've been able to pick up subscribers or pick up uh, subscribers into the households, new subscribers on the ad based tier. And I really think they're actually now also controlling costs. It's not just the spending spree. The streaming wars are starting to work its way out with some defined winners, which I think Netflix is truly going to be the winner. And over the next few years, you may see the streaming wars consolidate a little bit as people get tired of paying for five or six different streaming services. And I think Netflix is best positioned to continue to pick up uh, subscriber growth. Their pricing point is great. And then IBM, everybody forgets the, the original AI creator. They just lost, launched Watson X. Um, for me, it's a lot to be excited about. That company has turned it around the last few years. I think well positioned for AI and cheap for an AI stock. It is very cheap at 14, 15 times multiple.